Hello everyone, this is Amanda with the LiveCoin Q&A. I just got back from a coin show and I ended up having some pretty good finds, so I thought I would make a quick video to share those with you. All right, so I ended up spending all day Friday, March 1st, at the Tennessee State Numismatic Society Coin Show. And every single time I go to a coin show, I end up coming home with some kind of book. And this time wasn't any different. I ended up getting a copy of Bill Feva's Counterfeit Detection Guide. And... This has some genuine examples of key dates, um, sought after varieties and errors that are commonly counterfeited, and it goes through all the diagnostics you want to look for to confirm that it is the real deal. So I thought that was pretty cool and it would be fun to look through. So that was the book I ended up getting. And then, I don't know if most of you know, but I kind of have a problem with wanting to hoard unopened rolls of coins. And I usually end up going through all of them. But I got an entire $25 box of 2009 Philadelphia Minted Formative Years Lincoln Cents. For the 2009 Philadelphia formative years, there are a ton of different doubled dies to look for, and I like to look for those, so it was just $2 per roll for that whole box, so I'm in at $100 for the whole box, and when I looked at eBay, they were going for around $120 per box plus shipping. So I went ahead and grabbed that one, and I'm probably going to search the entire box. And from the same dealer I got those from, I also got some other rolls of assorted Lincoln scents, some tubed rolls, some mixed wheat scent rolls, and a few rolls of Jefferson Nichols. I think I ended up with 30 rolls of Lincoln Scents. And some of these, like this 1963D, I'm pretty excited about. If you can see this, the tape that is sealing this top is extremely old looking, yellowed and brown. And I usually find some of the best stuff that I come across when I go through tube rolls that have really old tape on them like that. So I get excited when I find some tube rolls like this. And then I also got four rolls of the 2004 Westward Journey Nickels that are the Louisiana Purchase. I think these are called the Peace Design. But I'm pretty sure there is a nice double to die obverse that you can find on these. I'm not as big of a nickel person, so I'm not 100% sure. But I grabbed a few rolls of those just in case there was something to look for. So those should be fun to go through. After I bought all of those rolls, the dealer also had these sitting on the table these are mint sealed boxes of the 2009 formative years in Lincoln Sense. That's what the LP2 stands for. So he originally wanted $5 a box for these. And he noticed I was looking at them. And he said if I wanted some boxes of these, since I bought all these other rolls, I could have them for $4 a box. So I ended up buying all six of the boxes he had that were the LP2. 
He also had some that were the LP4 presidency design, but I didn't really want any of those. So I ended up with six boxes of these for $4 a piece. I don't know if I'll end up opening all of these or if I might use some for giveaways later. I'm not really sure, but I couldn't pass those up for $4 a box. And then I also bought some singular coins, and I found some nice FS listed varieties. So I'm going to show you those now. First up, we have a piece of Exonumia. This is a 1951D encased Lincoln Wheat Scent. On the obverse side, where the obverse of the scent is, the encasing says Dr. Drake's for croupy coughs due to colds. And on the other side, it says Glesco for adults. Cough relief starts with the first swallow. I also included a picture of what this product probably looked like. And I almost didn't share this one in the video because I didn't buy this for myself. I bought it for someone else. But you'll see on the next slide why I chose to include this one. When I purchased that encased scent on the last picture, the dealer ended up owing me a few dollars in change. And he happened to give me presidential dollars and Susan B. Anthony dollars. And I just happened to get a 1979 Philadelphia Susan B. Anthony dollar that is the FS301 wide rim or near date variety. This is the least common of the two obverse design varieties for the 1979 piece Susan B. Anthony dollars. Next up is a 1939 one farthing from the UK. As you can see, this one has some wood grain going across it. So this one is an improper alloy mixture. Continuing with the UK theme, this is a 1946 one penny, and this one also has an improper alloy mixture, as you can see near the date and near the shield. The last world coin that I picked up was this 1909 Canadian large cent. As you can see on the king's profile, there is some wood grain, so this is also an improper alloy mixture and I couldn't help myself but to save this one from the junk bin. I also ended up with four different Lincoln wheat scents that also have an improper alloy mixture and those were a 1929D, a 1928D, a 1920, and a 1918S. All of these came out of the junk bins so I was glad that I could save them. The rest of the coins featured in this video are all die varieties and I ended up paying 50 cents a piece for each of these coins. The first one is a 2009 formative years Lincoln scent with a doubled die reverse and this one is listed in the cherry pickers guide as the FS803. As you can see in the close up picture there is a totally separate extra thumb. Next up is another 2009 formative years Lincoln scent. This one is also a double die reverse. This one is listed as the FS802 in the cherry pickers guide. And as you can see directly under the thumb is where that doubling is located. Then we have another 2009 formative years Lincoln scent. And this one is also a double die reverse. This one is more minor than those other two but this one is listed as the DDR-003 on Variety Vista. The last 2009 formative years Lincoln scent double die reverse that I found was the WDDR-005. This one is even more minor than the others. You can see a little bit extra on the top of the thumb, kind of like a little bump poking out. Next up we have a 1960D Lincoln Memorial scent. This one is a large date, but this one also has a repunched mint mark. This one is listed in the cherry pickers guide as the FS502. And I don't think this one needs any explanation. You can see it clearly in the photos. 
Next up is another repunched mint mark on a 1953 D. Lincoln wheat scent. This one is listed as the FS501 in the Cherry Pickers Guide, and this is a very popular variety. You can see there is a very strong repunched mint mark. This one, I think, is a little later of a die state. One of the markers when you look on Variety Vista in Stage D is a die clash near the throat and this one does have that but none of the other die markers match up for that stage so I guess this one might be a stage that is not on there yet. Lastly we have another 1953D repunched mint mark another FS501 this one is a different die stage than the other one it doesn't have the die clash under the chin and in front of the throat so I was very excited to find both of these especially in the same box at the same dealers table I'm guessing maybe they had opened up either a roll or a bank bag of 1953 D's and they had put them in two by twos all of their boxes were sorted by the year and the mint mark so it was easy to look through all of these in order and I was happy to find two of those in their boxes. Before I end the video I did want to mention all of the photos in this video were taken using these coin view imaging tools mainly this one because all of those were smaller denominations I think the only one I had to use the larger one for was the British Penny. And I've actually only had these for like a week and a half, but I have noticed the photos I take are a lot better. It works well when I take pictures with my phone camera. And also if I'm looking at coins under the scope and want to get a different angle for the pictures. So we don't usually promote products, but I've been enjoying these and I know Paula has been enjoying the ones she bought so I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video if you might be interested in purchasing one because I'm finding them very useful and you might too. For those of you who have managed to stay to the end of this video we're gonna throw in a giveaway. If you would like to enter to win a pair of the CoinView imaging tools you need to leave a comment on this video and you need to include the word coin view in your comment. It's all one word. I will put the word up on the screen so you can see how to spell it. And we will draw a winner for that on March the 11th during our normal live stream. So if you want to see if you win, make sure you come to that live stream. And I'm also going to post our giveaway rules in the description of this video. You do need to be 18 or older, or if you're a minor, you need to have a parent's permission to enter. And you also need to have a U.S. shipping address. As always, if you have a question about a coin or a piece of paper currency, please send your questions and clear photos to info at livecoinqa.com and we will be happy to help you with your question. Thanks for watching.